first john chapter two my little children i write this to you so that you do not sin and if anyone sins we have an intercessor with the father yashua hamashiach a righteous one and he himself is an atoning offering for our sins and not for ours only but also for all the world and by this we know that we know him if we guard his commands. The one who says, I know him, and does not guard his commands is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever guards his word truly, the love of Elohim has been perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. The one who says he stays in him ought himself also to walk, even as he walked. Beloved, I write no first command to you, but an old command, which you have had from the beginning. The old command is the word which you heard from the beginning. Again, I write you a fresh command, which is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away, and the true light now shines. The one who says he is in the light and hates his brother, is in darkness until now. The one who loves his brother stays in the light, and there is no stumbling block in him. But the one who hates his brother is in the darkness and walks in the darkness, and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. I write to you, little children, because your sins have been forgiven on account of his name. I write to you, fathers, because you have known him from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father. I wrote to you, fathers, because you have known him from the beginning. I wrote to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of Yahweh stays in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. Do not love the world, nor that which is in the world. If anyone loves the world... The love of the Father is not in him, because all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust of it, but the one doing the desire of Elohim remains forever. Little children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that the anti-Messiah anti is coming, even now, many anti-Messiahs have come. This is how we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have stayed with us. But in order that it might be made manifest that none of them were of us. And you have an anointing from the Kodesh One, and you know all. I did not write to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it because no falsehood is of the truth. Who is the liar except the one denying that Yahshua is Hamashiach? This is the anti-Messiah, the one denying the Father and the Son. No one denying the Son has the Father. The one confessing the Son has the Father as well. As for you, let that stay in you which you heard from the beginning. If what you heard from the beginning stays in you, you also shall stay in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he has promised us, everlasting life. I have written this to you concerning those who lead you astray. But the anointing which you have received from him stays in you, and you have no need that anyone should teach you. But as the same anointing teaches you concerning all, and is true, and is no falsehood, and even as... It has taught you, you stay in him. And now, little children, stay in him, so that when he appears, we might have boldness and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone doing righteousness has been born of him.